Welcome back to the dream. Paul, covered in glory, has returned to Boston after destroying many of his political enemies nearby. Uh, his dream, however, it continues to eat at him night after night. He still is not free of whatever he thinks slumbers under Boston. And so we're going to continue our warpath. Uh, I think we're going to pick up where Paul was um, by attacking Chief Wentworth um, for control of most of Massachusetts. We're so... Look how look how much Paul has, has expanded the old territory of the Mahonic. It's cost him an awful lot of prestige over the years, um, but not a lot we can do about it. It is, it is our destiny, after all. Ah, good. My son, we've arrived, uh, we arranged, um, for my son Hiram to be control, or for Paul's son Hiram to be in control of, uh, the new main territories. For that matter, oh, we had, we had picked out, uh, one of, yes, one of the daughters of the person we just defeated. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and arrange our son be married to her. Yes, yeah, she is the better one. So, Helen, um, let's go ahead and arrange that marriage, and now we're going to have an, an ally in Banger rather than an enemy. Good. It's never a bad thing to have an ally around, even if it is going to be one that we, uh... Oh, high noon? The Mexican standoff? Oh my god, you guys, I've... There's so much that's in this game that I, I haven't yet explored, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to doing a playthrough in Mexico. Um, I'll probably do one in California, probably one of the, uh, the indigenous peoples out here. If you have any ideas for campaigns that, that you want, want to see me uh, do here and after the end, let me know, because I'm, I'm down for it, kind of no matter what. Um, yeah, all right. You know what? Sure. Thanks for congregating with the assistance of... Um, your friends. They're, we we certainly are seeking more more battlefield victories. Certainly are seeking more battlefield victories. Teresa comes of age. They do grow up fast. Yep, just like that, we defeated them. Excellent. Paul is Paul is an unstoppable force at this point. I wonder how many of those those kills were actually like his personally um knights it's not gonna show us uh it's a bummer the uh i'd love to see the amount of damage that that paul himself is doing here with his 22 prowess but he's just gonna he's gonna reunify new england there's really nothing that they can that anybody can do to stop him at this point the only thing we're missing now, I think, is probably money. And, just like that, Connecticut has done the hard work for us. They've rebuilt. We can fix that. They don't need to have been rebuilt forever. We could grant more territory to Francesca, but honestly, she's so over uh, domain cap that I'm not going to bother. So rather, I'm going to see if there's anyone in here that I'd like to keep working with. Napoleon is very good. Um, and, oh, but you're content. Hmm. All right. I tell you what, we're going to split the land then. We're going to give, um, this is cabin. Done. There you go, Count Napoleon. So we've uh, we successfully redistributed power in Massachusetts. It's time for for us to go get some collect some taxes. We're looking for donations. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Yes, the best kinds of donations are those taken at sword point. Good, good. Demand artifact. I mean, all right, you're you're our vassal. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say no to that. I don't really care about, like, the little prestige artifacts. They're not worth personal grudges over. Ooh, fire and blood, you say? Why not? Paul is, is just, he's just trying to get money, because he just needs some cash to, uh, to continue his wars. 
Oh my god. We're just we're, this is this is the true terror of the Mahonic, right? This is this is what the prophecy was foretelling us. We uh we are gonna we are gonna do an awful lot of damage. Who is is Hudsonia attacking anyone? No. You are defending against you are defending against a princess. Alright. Well, I don't know if we wanna allow for for that or not if the uh kingdom of hudsonia takes control of connecticut that'll be kind of annoying but not the end of the world because the moment oh oh you your father did die baltus baltus is dead huh well um that might be bad for you hudsonia we will find out it sure looks like it's gonna be bad for you though because without baltus there the uh the the kids are are a lot worse um, and so whoever is in control over here is going to have an outsized impact on our ability to make progress. Unfortunately, Alexander is a capable military commander, but we can we can get around that. Is Paul strong enough to attack Manhattan now? Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Probably not. It's okay. He doesn't need to be. He'll he'll he will be in the next war. We could also take cultural fascination um, progress. I wouldn't hate that at this point in the game. Learning is pretty good because tech spread is pretty good. Technologies are usually pretty strong in strategy games, just as, a, as an aside from outside of the, the realm of after the end. Oh my god. Every time, every time Paul burns um, Long Island down to the ground, I just, I just get giddy. I get giddy. I can't help myself but be excited. We're going to make an absolute fortune. We're going to bring it back home. Oh, we can even crown ourselves then because we will have enough money to become. Um, yeah, you know what? That's it. We'll become a king in this in this episode. We we are going to we're going to restore it. Whew, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Paul, you can't just destroy all of New England. Good. Yeah, we can. All right. Yeah, we'll ransom some too. Because uh, that's just even more money. I don't mind. Oh, they they only took they only took one one uh, territory. That's fine. I'm not afraid of that. I don't want to have to fight Hudsonia for absolutely everything. But if they're only going to take like one one territory at a time, I don't care. All right. So we did it. Um, Paul has has stolen off and taken as much money as he wants. And I think in this case, we are going to go ahead and create the Duchy of Maine. And then uh, we need 500 gold for the Kingdom of New England. Are we strong enough to launch a raid against Hudsonia? Is Paul insane enough to try to besiege Manhattan? I mean, maybe we just attack uh, for Connecticut. That actually might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's let's go let's go to a party. Of course she will be there. Let's go to a party and then we'll invade Connecticut. Ooh, Garum. That's that's something from the ancient world, right? Um ooh, and a huge health boost. Awesome. Oh man. Absolutely fantastic. Ooh, we got Raider though. Yes! The legend of, of Paul continues to grow. Oh my god. All right, well, we are going to take control of um, Maine, Connecticut, the main part of Connecticut, and then and then that will be that. Farewell, my vassal. All right, well, we uh, while we were there, we picked up a reputation for being a terrifying raider, I guess. And now we are just burning Connecticut to the ground yet again. So once we've taken Connecticut, I guess we do need to make up our minds. Are we ready to fight Hudsonia or not? They are looking pretty weak right now. <gasps> no. My my daughter my daughter has had an illegitimate child with a knight? Uh well, alright, we will marry her off. Um yeah, alright, you can you can be my new son in law. Come on down here, boy. Get to marry my my daughter. Um she's pregnant with an illegitimate child but your uh your prowess of 23 makes you a good enough a good enough stepfather 
All right, so we are we are promoting um, a cultural acceptance between Lobster Man uh, and the Letterman because we want to create a new culture up here that's going to allow us to do um, piracy, whether or not we're an unreformed religion, because we want to do piracy, whether or not we're an unreformed religion. I think actually what we're going to do is after we after we capture Connecticut, we're going to burn Hudsonian to the ground. I don't think we're going to attack them. I think we're going to make them attack us and we are going to destroy them. Hudsonia is going to suffer for crossing the uh, the river. They've got they've got a lot of troops. They do have a lot of troops. Uh all right. A wild oat. Yeah, so bastardy isn't like a, a huge sin in this. Is there anybody Oh, we could we could go down here to connect, to occupy Connecticut again. Um but we already occupy all of the world. We will go down to Long Island to remind them who is really in charge. Herculean Raider. All right, sweet. Yeah, we are we are going to mess people up. We just need money. Yep. And there we go. Enforce demands. Um, I could grant this to you. Yeah, you know what? Congratulations, son. Another Mahonic, another Mahonic kid out here. Well, is this army going to be big enough is the question. I don't think so. Not against this dude. This dude is terrifying. I'm not going to mess with you. But against Hudsonia? Yeah, let's go. Paul received a vision that ordered him to acquire the funds necessary to rebuild the Mahonic uh, Empire by marching into the ancient enemy land, Hudsonia. We're going to fight him. Fire and blood. Bring me bounteous plunder. Yes. Oh, hell yes. Let's go. Get over here, Hudsonia. Show me that you still have teeth. If you don't, I'm gonna destroy. I'm just gonna destroy everything on this on this bank of the river. Ooh, all right, there's the money. There's the money. So um, that's the last of the Onesiphorus uh, daughters. And so she died and all of her territory has passed over to me. I don't mind granting some of these territories to other dynasties that have already uh, been established just for flavor reasons. I think it's fun. Oh, oh, we have constitutionalists here? Not on my watch. We will fix that. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We will um, demand conversion here. And we will demand conversion here. And then we'll give... S no. Not Stratford. We want to give away Barnstable Town, because that's in um, the Cape Cod Peninsula. So yeah, we'll give that to you. Great, ter great, great uh, job managing everything out here, friend. Yeah, anything for the faith. Uh, sure. So now we've convinced these two to convince to convert, uh, which should help us out in terms of controlling everything down here. The primary ear has converted. Count Hiram is a thrifty clerk. Count Hiram, you are much better than that. How dare you? Well, all right. Well, Hiram is is not his father's son in terms of his abilities, but he will try. He will try. Yeah. All right. I think uh, I think that's a good place to. It's a good place to pause it for now. I think. Yeah. That's, uh, all right, that's Walker, and that's, uh, We Play Games. That's, this is, I think, the 10th episode of The Dream. All right, take care.